Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania on Cemetery Ridge at the famous gatehouse to the Evergreen Cemetery. We're going to go in and look at some notable graves. It was November of 1853 when it was decided that uh, some land would be needed uh, to have a uh, public cemetery on the edge of town. Uh, the first burial here occurred in November of 1854. And the gatehouse was originally the home of the uh, caretakers at the time of the battle, Elizabeth Thorne, wife of Peter Thorne, was six months pregnant and was left here to care for the cemetery alone after the battle as her husband had enlisted. first notable grave we come to is that of James Gettys, the founder of Gettysburg. Proprietor of Gettysburg, 1759 to 1815 were his years. As we look ahead, we see an American flag flying. There are two graves that have such a flag. The first one is that of Mary Virginia, better known as Jenny Wade. Although to her family, she was probably Ginny Wade. civilian killed in the battle at her sister's home while kneading dough to make bread for the troops. It is said that uh, days after her death, bread was in fact made from that dough that uh, she was kneading as she was killed. Here we have the grave of the Reverend Samuel Simon Schmucker, who was the founder of the Gettysburg Lutheran Theological Seminary, as well as Pennsylvania College, which later became Gettysburg College, 1799 to 1873. If we look over the gate, see a large statue 
that is the uh, military, National Military Cemetery. Um, Lincoln, while he delivered a speech for the dedication of this military cemetery, obviously known as the Gettysburg Address, uh, there's some question as to exactly where he was and where was the, the podium for the ceremony dedicating the cemetery. It was not where that statue is. There was, they say, a very uh, tall flagpole at that statue, and there have been debates over the years as to exactly Lincoln's location. Most believe he was actually in this cemetery. Um, I've seen a couple of different, uh, you know, latest... Uh, estimates. One thought that the uh, stage was near this mausoleum. That was last year. Now this year they say it was uh, by the rhododendron over there near the gate next to the tree. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll never know. And here we have the graves of Peter and Elizabeth Thorne, who were the caretakers at the cemetery at the time of the battle. Again, Peter had enlisted and was off fighting. Elizabeth, at, at battle time, was about six months pregnant, and uh, she was left here to uh, care for the cemetery, herself having to dig graves uh, to bury the dead. Here we have the grave of David Wills, who was a lawyer in town, had a uh, home on the square, on the Diamond Lincoln Square now, and uh, it was he who uh, wrote to President Lincoln asking him to come to the dedication of the cemetery and make some remarks. Um, Lincoln spent the night at the Wills' house uh, between November 18th and 19th of 1863 before making his speech. And up ahead here we see the second grave in the cemetery, the second of the two that has an American flag which flies at all times. This is the grave of John Burns and his wife. It says John Burns Patriot, 1794 to 1872. John Burns 
in his 60s, a veteran of the War, War of 1812, a resident of Gettysburg, um, took up his rifle and joined in the fighting. Rather than film my walk all around, I, I came from the direction of the large tree ahead. The last grave I'm going to show you today, and if you're looking for uh, a marker to try to gauge where it is, you can, you can see the hotel just on the other side of the fence. And this is the grave of Edward S. Eddie Plank, known as Gettysburg Eddie, was a uh, professional baseball player. This isn't all the famous people buried at Evergreen Cemetery. This is just what was, in my opinion, the most notable. A couple of things to keep in mind. The cemetery was part of the battle. There are uh, headstones you could find that were damaged uh, as soldiers used uh, the uh, headstones for cover. Also, uh, many uh, smaller cemeteries were moved, uh, graves were moved, and people were reinterred here at Evergreen from churchyards and little cemeteries throughout the town. I, I highly recommend a book called Beyond the Gatehouse, Gettysburg's Evergreen Cemetery by Brian A. Kennel, who was the son of a Gettysburg uh, cemetery superintendent, and he himself was a superintendent for 20 plus years here at Evergreen Cemetery. This book uh, contains all the uh, famous people I point out, uh, and then some. Uh, there are biographies, there are photographs, and there is a uh, map included that will help you uh, to locate where the uh, graves are in the cemetery. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.